Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, so I saw this trick the other day and I called bull crap on it. It's the trick where you, you break a lock with two wrenches. So I went and bought a couple of uh, couple of locks. So I bought some master locks and I've got uh, these combination locks and we're gonna see if it actually works. The no holes bar answer, it's lack of really, well it's kind of a scientific approach. I'm calling it, we're doing this for science. And I'm gonna attach a lock and we're gonna try to break it with the wrenches. So really like, here we go guys. I'm just gonna get the wrenches out. All right guys, so I'm doing it right here on the, on the garage floor. I got it right here on the toolbox because it's too hot to actually do it on the fence or on the back of the truck. So we're just doing it here in the garage. We're gonna see if uh, this actually works. I went and got these from Walmart. They're just Brinks locks. It's like the two pack, if you can see them. And I'm gonna stick them to this here toolbox. And we're gonna see if I can actually break open them with these wrenches, just like on the video, okay? So we're gonna try the cheap lock first and you know, I don't really know the combination to the back of this. It's actually, you can't even see it anymore. It's, it's worn off pretty much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lock it and it's on there. Since this is a cheap lock, I think it's gonna explode out of here. So actually, you know, going this way and popping it the lock and since it's a cheap one I think it's gonna pop out this way this is probably gonna fracture and that'll be it there's also another way of doing it that is up and down you know, the same way but up and down which is hard to do when it's on here I noticed on the video they did it when it wasn't attached to anything so that's why I kind of call bullcrap on that one it works if it's not attached to got my wrenches here and the trick is really I guess you put them in here like this and you know, you pop it. I haven't actually tried this before, but I think I need a bigger one. There we go. It's kind of, kind of like that. I need a bigger one. We're gonna use this one. Oh yeah, there we go. Got a bite on it now. See, I got me a bite. All right, so I'm gonna use the wrench here, this one, because it's the only large size that I have. So we got it like that, and let's see. Ah! All right, almost broke the fingers. Ah. It worked, it worked. Look at there, blew it right out the side. See? Blew it right out. It worked. It wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be because what you got to you got to worry about is when you're when you're doing this and it pops, your fingers will smash together. Somebody had told me on Facebook before I did this that they actually just about broke their fingers doing this. So that's a trade-off to that. Now this one was pretty easy to do. Ah, geez, I just cut myself. Check that out. Didn't even notice it. I did it with my fingernail. Name of science, everybody. But I don't think it's going to work on one of these. I might go get my gloves for the second go around. All right, so got the lock. All right, it's off. All right, we're gonna attach this one on there, and I'm gonna do it the same way as I did the other one. I'm gonna try to blow it out the side. But if it doesn't, I'll try to do the north-south technique. Watch your fingers. Mm. Well, bent. Oh, it almost broke. Look here. Can you see? It's actually bending out right there. that easy. All right, so let's try the other side, other way. Oh, 
Oh, this oh, it worked. It worked. Wow. Totally worked. Totally worked. All right, guys, I broke it. <laughs> I broke it. I, I did not think that was going to work. Now, what, you might wonder what I did was I tried this way, and once I got to a certain point, the, the wrenches wouldn't go together any further. And so I had to, you know, try a, a different size. But once that bent to where it wouldn't go any further, I actually did it like this and pulled up on the lock. So like you're basically lifting it up with leverage off of the other wrench like this. And it just popped right off. So master lock was defeated and so was this other junk one. This is one of those Chinese locks. On the video that I watched that they were doing this and I called bull crap on was they were using like cheap, cheap, cheap locks it looked like. And I was like, there's no way a Brinks would be the same way. But literally with just these right here and a little lever, they pop right off. I hope there's no thieves watching this, but <laughs> It totally worked. It works better if you lift up on the lock than if you lift out. You want to lift up. But it's hard to when it's on, you know, something like this. But I wanted to make this video for the sake of science. And uh, that's pretty cool. It's really pretty cool. I didn't think it was going to work. I think I'm going to save this one because we can say this trick actually works. And I think if it was a bigger lock, you could just get a bigger lever. You could put a piece of PVC pipe on the edge of this, get a little more crank on it. What's the old great saying? Give me a lever long enough and I'll move the world. That's basically what this is. I didn't think that would work, but it totally did. Watch your fingers because as you can see, I already scuffed myself and you could easily break a finger if it just slips off and goes like that. But that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep this last lock. So don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. That was pretty cool. I actually did it. <laughs> I wanted to make, I just wanted to tell everybody whether it was true or not. So comment down below if you've tried this. I'll see you guys later.